Hey guys, uh, thanks to my friends on Instagram, at Burdenson666 if you didn't know, I will be doing a top 10 favourite bands list. This one will be a little sh a short one, as I am a little bit sparse on time, but hey ho, you know. Anyway, let's get into the list, and as we kick off with number 10, to kick off the list, it's Fozzy. Since they came out with Judas, I knew I had to get the album, which I have somewhere. I think it's in the car. Um, I knew I had to get the album, which I did. And more importantly, really enjoyed it. So that's also a bonus, which is why they made the list. It does help that my favourite uh, wrestler of all time provides the vocals, but I also really like the rest of the band's sound when I heard the album. I also went on to listen to other songs like um, Sandpaper and Drinking With Jesus that didn't appear on Judas. Also great songs. But anyway, on to number nine, which will be Bad Wolves. Now the only reason they aren't low on down on the list, so you know, number seven or number five or something like that, it's because of how new they are. Who knows? Maybe in a few years they might be in the top five. But hey, number nine with only two albums to their name is not is really good. And just so goes to show how much I enjoyed the music. From Zombie to Learn to Live, they can do both soft but powerful and aggressive. So, you know, the really good mix of the two um, different extremes you know well not extremes but you know what i mean you know but anyway now to move on to number nine number eight seether starting off with isolate and medicate which as the first album of seethers i listened to less than a week less than a week later on a trip to london we picked up the greatest hits album the two disc one which is still one of my favorite albums I have it on in the car all the time. Um, from Broken to Gasoline, they showed how talented all members of the band were. Plus, Sean Morgan really wowed me with his vocals, especially again on all of the all of the songs on um, just all of the songs I've heard are just amazing. You know, you can't fault them. So yeah, that's why numbers number eight. See you there. But now it's time for number seven, I reckon. Ha, ah, that rhymed. But, um, it's a Van Sevenfold. Now, I can't remember the last, the first time I listened to them. The first time I listened to them. But it seems like I've been listening to them for, you know, absolutely ages. Whether it's Nightmare or A Little Piece of Heaven. They really know how to tell a story through music and do it with precision. Favourite album by them at the moment is Hail to the King because so many of the songs on there are so good and I reckon it's really where um M Shadow's vocals really, you know take that jump up. You know, it it really took it obviously took a long time to like, you know, train for that album and it was really where it really took that jump up to the next level and it it was just a great album if you haven't checked it out check it out but anyway number six time and it is the band that have been around the longest on this list and that is this and that is the some would say originators of metal black sabbath with their dark tones and their demon imagery, they really set the ball rolling for the metal genre. We would, we would have not with, we would, we would not have it without them. From songs like Iron Man to NIB, they have written and performed some of the most iconic anthems in metal history, and for good reason. Whether it's Ozzy Osbourne's vocals or Tony Iommi's riffs. The band of one that will never be forgotten. Now, to move on 
along with our number five motorhead but as you can see there i got the lemmy patch there you know i've also got two other motorhead patches as well one just there but anyway number number five motorhead the second band that really skyrocketed the metal genre and still one of the most recognizable bands of all time motorhead have many many albums and iconic songs to their name whether it's ace of spades overkill or one of the most iconic wwe theme songs of all time the game triple h's theme song they have one of the strongest cases of the best band of all time however this is my personal favorite list and so we move on to number four number four which is alter bridge starting when i was listening when i was watching wwe as you can see them there's my daniel bryan doing the yes chant there's also his signature on there and then up there is the aj styles one both signed um I was like, oh yeah, started when I was watching WWE. Edge's theme song was always one of my favourites. However, I only realised it was them when I listened to um, Addicted to Pain. And, um, you know, I was looking on the suggestions tab. And it was like, Alter Bridge, Metal Ingus. I was like, hang on a minute, Metal Ingus, isn't that the name of Edge's theme song? So I put it on, and it, it was. So... That wowed me. And then also, you know, seeing them play it live was just boom. It was that it was actually the last song they played. Anyway, um Yeah, when they played it last, um it was really, really fantastic, you know. Um but yeah, still one of my favourite WWE theme songs of all time. But um, yeah. But I saw them live with my actually my number three pick. It really introduced me to the vast greatness that is Alter Bridge. Songs like "Addicted to Pain" and "Metalingus" remain the band's most well-known songs. However, their latest album is a great listen. I would really recommend. Well, that number three pick I saw live with Alter Bridge, none other than Shinedown. Now, if you can't tell, I'm actually wearing a Shinedown t-shirt right now. Yes, it is the Shinedown t-shirt that I got when I saw them live with, uh, with Alter Bridge. Um, respon responsible for great songs like Devil, which this shirt is actually. Because then if you can see somewhere there, it says it actually says it. It's actually the Devil t-shirt because they did a devil t-shirt a monsters t-shirt a sound of madness t-shirt and then a logo t-shirt i got the devil t-shirt um and and diamond dies diamond dies is another good song on the expendables 2 i think one of the expendables anyway but i have not heard an album from shine down i have not thoroughly enjoyed yet Proving them to be one of the most consistent bands on this list. They also did the former Monday Night Raw theme song, Enemies. Which which was on the, I think, was it the Amaryllis? No, it wasn't. Yeah, it was. Amaryllis. Was it? Amaryllis, yeah. Um, album. Which is one of my favourite albums again. Most of the Shinedowns are. They have also just released a, trade, a teaser trailer of a new song. And it sounds fantastic. If you want to check it out. I won't put it in the description below. Because I don't know, actually know how to do that. But I will put the name of it. In the description below. And the video right now. It's actually called. Atlas Falls. Um, it's only about. 32 seconds. So it's not actually the entire song. Obviously because it's a teaser trailer. But it just. It's just you know. It showing that they're in the studio showing that an album's nearly done and that they're going to release new music again and i cannot wait for that i cannot wait until they release a new album 
Because hopefully, then, if this whole pandemic thing is sorted out, that means more tours. And hopefully, they come back here. Because then, if they do, I'll probably end up going to see them again. But yeah. Anyway, guys. Um, on to number two. Now, the thing is, number two and number one were very closely contended. But one had to be second place, which is a shame. And that is Disturbed. I mean, being my favourite band since when I was about three, they've only been beaten once by our number one. And that was like two, three years ago, maybe. Don't know. However, Disturbed have a number of fantastic songs under their belt. Like Down With The Sickness and Indestructible. Both are also the names of two of the best albums there are. Also given us the 2002 version of arguably the most iconic WWE wrestler, Stone Cold Steve Austin, in Glass Shatters. But yeah, that's a great song. Yeah. Any of the songs I mention in this list will be put in the description below. Without the link though, because I don't know how to do that. So you'll have to, you know, search it up yourself. Even though it's not that hard. Just type up the... Probably just type up the band name and they'll probably come up, you know. Um, anyway. On to, to close off this list is number one. Obviously. What are you doing? Sorry. Catros just jumped under my bed for some reason. I don't know. I don't know what he's doing, to be fair. But anyway, to close off this list, it's number one. And that is Five Finger Death Punch. As you can see there, actually. Because, you know, it's right there. It's been on show for the entire video. My favourite band of all time. My favourite band of all time. Anyone who knows me knows that I love Five Finger Death Punch. Even sporting a pair of Five Finger Death Punch shoes from time to time. And if I had them up here, I would I would show you. But I don't, so I can't. But yeah, one of the best nights of my life was actually when I saw them live in November during the Mega Death Punch tour with, you guessed it, Mega Death. With songs like Coming Down and The Way of the Fist, in their resume just show the messages they can portray in their music alone plus their music vids are great and go with the songs perfectly especially again the coming down and the way the first video great videos um some other bands i would definitely check out slipknot kill switch engaged godsmack and papa roach all good albums good albums good bands Anyway, guys, um, I think that wraps it up for tonight. Not tonight, because I will be doing a live stream like four or five o'clock probably. But um, yeah, hope hopefully you've enjoyed the video, and hopefully, if you haven't already, you'll check out some of these bands on this list. I would recommend all of them. Um, all of the bands I listed on this list i would definitely check out but anyway guys um i'll see you when i start my live stream later on bye bye